Joining me now is Meredith Aldridge. She is director of the Consumer Protection Division of the Attorney General's Office in Jackson. Now, this office provides a great service to the people of Mississippi through their investigation and prosecution of crimes in several areas, including home repair fraud, identity theft, counterfeit goods, and criminal fraud. And since identity theft is one of the fastest growing crimes, not only in Mississippi, but our entire nation, we want to ask a few questions about that today. What are some things that we should do to avoid becoming a victim of identity theft, Meredith? Well, there are lots of things that are simple steps that you can do to avoid becoming a victim of identity theft. One of the easiest things is to shred documents before you throw them away, documents that contain information such as your Social Security number, bank account numbers, credit card information, your date of birth. Shred those documents before you throw them away. Also, when you carry your wallet or your purse with you, make sure that you don't have your Social Security card with you. Uh, that includes don't have, meaning don't have that on your driver's license as your driver's license number. And carry only those cards, those debit cards, credit cards, bank account information, carry only those that you really need. And when you're in a store, be sure that you protect your credit cards, make sure that as you maybe use a pen swipe panel, make sure that you protect um, your pen number and your password at all times. These are just some simple steps that you can take um, in addition to checking your credit regularly, monitoring your accounts, and checking with the three credit bureaus on a regular basis. Well, what should I do if I do become a victim of identity theft once I recognize Right. This? Well, we hope that you don't become a victim of identity theft, but unfortunately, because it is such a growing crime, we are seeing that more and more often. Um, one of the first things that you need to do is contact your local police department. Um, that might be your police department, it might be the sheriff's office, but go local first. Uh, then we also want you to contact, depending on the type of um, information that's been compromised, for example, if it's a credit card or if it's your bank debit card, you'll want to contact the person who issued that card and have them cancel that, make sure that they put a fraud alert on your account. Now, after you've done that, we also want you to contact our office, the Attorney General's office, and get one of our ID theft packets that we have. It's a very comprehensive booklet that will walk you through the other steps that you need to take. You can sign an ID theft affidavit and we will begin, um, we will work with local authorities and we will independently investigate through our office as well um, you, the circumstances of your particular identity theft. You'll also want to report your um, identity having been stolen to the three credit bureaus. Um, that information is available on our website at www.aggemhood.com. And those three credit unions are Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. So you'll want to take all those steps, um, complete the affidavit that, is, that comes with the packet from our office, and then we'll, we will walk you through the remainder of the process. Well, if I want to, how can I obtain a copy of my own credit report? Right, absolutely. That's a wonderful question and a great thing for consumers to do to sort of prevent identity theft. Uh, what you can do is contact um, the three credit bureaus. Again, their contact information is available on our website. And you are entitled to one free credit report per year from each of those three credit bureaus. And so you may wish to. We recommend that you space that out and receive a credit report uh, every four months or so. You can also go to a website called www.annualcreditreport.com to get those free credit reports as well. There are a lot of other websites that say that they are free credit reports, but really the only one that is truly free and the one that we recommend is www.annualcreditreport.com. All right, if an identity theft occurs outside the state of Mississippi, what steps should a person take? Well, in that instance, you'll want to contact either the local police department in that city or that state's attorney general's office. And we can, we at the Mississippi attorney general's office are always here to assist anyone in finding the appropriate number, uh, contact information for those local authorities. Well, it sounds like you've touched on this a little bit, but uh, what exactly can the attorney general's office do to help a person that's been a victim of identity theft? Right, absolutely. When you get that packet that I mentioned earlier, um, you will complete an ID theft affidavit. And when you send that affidavit in, we will begin an investigation, a criminal investigation. We also have the ability to provide you with what's called an identity theft passport. That's a card that you can carry in your wallet that will show anyone, um, maybe a local authority that might stop you. Someone has stolen your name, for example, and is using your social security number. They may have an outstanding ticket or an outstanding warrant. If you have that identity theft passport, the local authorities will know that you have been a victim and that it's not you um, that would be responsible for your identity thief's action. All right, let's shift gears a, a little bit sure. here. Does your office have a 
a mechanism for helping consumers that have a, a consumer business dispute of some sort. Absolutely. Although we do focus a lot of our efforts in the areas that you mentioned at the beginning, identity theft, home repair fraud, counterfeit goods, and, and other criminal fraud, we also assist consumers through our mediation program. And that program consists of um, a series of communications that we provide with businesses. We advocate on behalf of consumers. A good example of, of a, co a common problem that we see is maybe you have a car warranty and you're having trouble um, getting the coverage that you believe you're entitled to under that car warranty. You would file a complaint with our office um, that's available on our website or we can send you a form. We have an 800 number that you can call. Um, and we will attempt to mediate that dispute on your behalf. And we do that for all, all different types of um, individuals who have disputes with particular businesses in Mississippi. And we encourage consumers who do need to fill out a complaint form to please contact our office at 800-281-4418 or visit our website at www.agjimhood.com. All right, thank you very much. Thank Meredith you. Aldridge from Attorney General Jim Hood's office in Jackson. Thank you.